In this video, we're going to prove by induction that the sum from r is 1 to n of r times 2 to the r over r plus 2 factorial is equal to 1 take away 2 to the n plus 1 over n plus 2 factorial. So, step 1. Prove that it's true for n equals 1. OK, so the left-hand side, the sum from r is 1 up to 1 of r times 2 to the r over r plus 2 factorial is equal to 1 times 2 to the 1 over 1 plus 2 factorial. Uh, the numerator is just 2. The denominator is 3 factorial, which is 6, and so that is 1 third. The right-hand side we would have 1 take away 2 to the 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 2 factorial. So 1 take away 2 squared, so I'll write that as 4, over 1 plus 2 factorial. 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 factorial is 6. So that's 1 take away 2 thirds, which is 1 third, which is the same as the left-hand side. So it is true for n equals 1. Step 2. Assume that it's true for n equals k. So, the summation from r equals 1 to k of r times 2 to the r over r plus 2 factorial will be equal to 1 take away 2 to the k plus 1 over k plus 2 factorial. So that's our assumption. Step 3, we need to prove that it's true for n equals k plus 1. So the summation of r equals 1 to k plus 1 of r times 2 to the r over r plus 2 factorial must be equal to the summation of r equals 1 to k of r times 2 to the r over r plus 2 factorial plus the k plus 1th term, which would be uh, substituting the k plus 1, k plus 1 times 2 to the k plus 1 over k plus 1 plus 2, so k plus 3 factorial. OK. Now, from step 2, we've assumed that that is equal to this 1 take away 2 to the k plus 1 over k plus 2 factorial. And we've got this extra term there. Now let's think about what we want to arrive at. We need to show that the summation of r times 2 to the r over r plus 2 factorial from r equals 1 to k plus 1 is equal to 1 take away 2 to the k plus 1 plus 1, so k plus 2, over k plus 1 plus 2, so k plus 3 factorial. That's what we need this to simplify to. OK, so we've got a bit of heavy algebra on our hands here. OK, so we're going to use a similar technique to what we have uh, did in the previous video, OK, in the couple of previous videos. Um, I'm going to have to combine these fractions by getting the common denominator. So I'm going to multiply this one top and bottom by k plus 3. The reason why I would do that is because k plus 3 factorial, I know, is k plus 3 times by k plus 2 factorial. OK? So if I multiply top and bottom by k plus 3, I can get the k plus 3 factorial in the denominator. I can combine the fractions. So we've got 1 take away k plus 3 times the 2 to the k plus 1 over k plus 3 times k plus 2 factorial, so I just get k plus 3 factorial, plus k plus 1 times 2 to the k plus 1 over k plus 3 factorial. OK, so now I've got the common denominator. Okay, 
I can combine the two fractions. Now I've got to be careful with the negative sign here because if I take away this whole thing, I'm going to have to change that to a minus. Okay, so in the numerator, I've got this k plus 3, 2 to the k plus 1, take away this term, k plus 1 times 2 to the k plus 1, over k plus 3 factorial. Okay, I think I'm running out of room, so I'm going to have to go up here now. Now I'm going to factor out the 2 to the k plus 1 here. Okay, so um, we've got 2 to the k plus 1 times by k plus 3 take away k plus 1 over this k plus 3 factorial. Now in the numerator, we've got 2 to the k plus 1. The k's cancel. 3 take away 1 is 2. So I'm multiplying it by 2. Now this is 2 to the 1, of course. So 2 to the k plus 1 times 2 to the 1, the powers add. And so I get 2 to the k plus 2 over the k plus 3 factorial. And that's precisely what I wanted to arrive at. So as it was true for n equals 1, okay, we showed it was true for that, and if true for n equals k, then we showed it was true for n equals k plus 1, so it is true for all natural numbers n greater than or equal to 1. And so that completes the proof.